Hi, uh, my name is Joel Cotton. I used to take photo Photoshop for many years at Colorado Mountain College in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Uh, I'm currently working on a Iceland movie. We just visited Iceland and I'm doing a movie on our 15 day camper van journey. And I wanted to show animated routes from point to point. I searched a lot and spent a lot of time working on it. And um, I didn't really find anything that I liked especially. Um, closest I came was Google Earth Studio, but I didn't really like the uh, satellite imagery. And I felt like it wasn't sharp and clear uh, to the end user. So I kept looking um, and there's, there's various software programs and websites, but I thought they looked kind of hokey and they were difficult to use. Um, plus thing, and then there, and then there were some other special programs using um, video editing software. Um, the closest thing I came to was Photoshop. Um, a guy was kind of doing similar thing to what I'm going to do, except he had to draw in the paths for the route, which was very time consuming. So I'm going to show you how to do the uh, the animation using two screenshots from Google Maps, bring them into Photoshop, and very quickly make an animation. I hope you find it useful and enjoyable and if you do please give me a thumbs up and if you don't mind subscribe to our channel. Thank you. First what you want to do is take a screenshot of the route using shift command 4 on the Mac Then close the route. Do another screenshot of about the same size and that's exactly but about the same size. Okay, now we're done with Google Chrome and we're going to jump over to Photoshop. And we're going to open the two screenshots. We're on my desktop. Open those up. And then we're going to copy the image with the route. So let's select all. Edit copy, and then jump over to the other screenshot and go to the layers and go to edit paste. Okay, now these two images are superimposed on each other. I don't need the other screenshot anymore. I'm going to close out. I'm going to save this as right to. Okay. okay, now I want to get those images lined up exactly. So what I'm going to do is uh, zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to make the opacity over here to the right under layers about 20%. Just enough to see through to the other side. And then using the move tool go ahead and move it so that the so that the maps line up lining up this little 55 sign right here and then for final adjustments you can use your up and down arrow keys on the keyboard and that looks like that's pretty good maybe, maybe. That's yeah, pretty good. Probably good enough. And now I make the opacity back to 100%. Go down to the bottom of layers where the screen mask is and click screen mask. And then go edit fill. And choose a black fill that will cover up the uh, entire image. Uncheck the link over in the layers panel and go to create video timeline down underneath this area. Go to layer two, go to layer mass position. So the starting position of the animation is can't see the route. Um, this is a five second animation at two seconds. I'm going to have the uh, 
route to start to show up. I need to uh, be able to see the whole thing, so I'm going to zoom back out. Okay, so um, this one's a little tricky because it comes back around here, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm just going to drag this down, drag the mass down. But I don't, I don't want that point for the lighthouse to show up yet, so I'm going to pull the mask, pull the mask over, start pulling it to the left. At this point, I'm going to create another frame, keyframe, and I'm going to move it all the way over. Okay. We can check to see if it is correct. I'm going to click the uh, return to beginning of the recording. Hit play. Looks pretty good. That's what I want. So now I go file, export, and export render video. You can choose whatever you're doing. Um, I'm doing a 4K movie, but um, 10 ADI is fine for the uh, animation part. Export video. 